Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, uh, one more uh, number program that is a uh, Harshad number or Niven number. Harshad number or Niven number. So first let us see what is this Harshad number uh, and next we'll see how to implement this one, how to find this one in Python program. So Harshad number or Niven number will call it. So if a number is divisible by its sum of individual digits, sum of individual digits, then we can call it as a Harshad number or Niven number. For example, let us take uh, 18. 18 is a number and you can see 18 is divided by the sum of individual digits that is 1 plus 8. So that is equal to 2 and the remainder is 0. So we say that if the remainder is 0 that implies the number is divisible by the sum of individual digits. So now we will see how to write the program for this one. So first let us read the input. And then we will find the sum of uh, individual digits of that particular number. And then finally we will check whether the given number is divisible by the sum of digits or not. If it is divisible we can say it as a Harshad number or Niven number. Otherwise it is not in Harshad number or Niven number. So let us implement this one. So I am reading one number n is equal to so integer of input and enter number. So here it will prompt for the number and now I will take one more variable x is equal to n because finally we need to check whether that number is divisible by sum of digits. So I am taking one temporary variable and I am assigning the value to that particular temporary variable and here my temporary variable is x. Now we need to find the sum of digits. So we have to repeat the process until uh, I will take x greater than 0 because x and n holds the same value. Now first we need to find the remainder. So in order to find the remainder, so finding the remainder gives the individual digit right from the right to left. So r is equal to x mod 10. So this line, this instruction, if this instruction is executed, we will get the individual digit. That is the ones position, individual digits of the ones position. Now we need to sum this particular digit right. S is equal to s plus or uh, we can take sum, sum is equal to sum plus r and initial value of sum we will take it as a 0, initially the sum value is 0. Now we need to reduce, so we have we found the digit at a 0th position that means a 1th uh, position, now we need to change for the 10th position. So for that we have to reduce the number, so I will go with a x is equal to x divided by 10, this will reduce the number from one one place. So after that we will get the sum and finally we have to check. So if n mod sum is equal to is equal to 0, we will say that the number is Harshad number. Print. See n is Harshad number. Harshad number or Niven number we can we can write anything right so else we can simply print n is not Harshad number or Niven number right so we can check so 18 so 18 is a Harshad number because 18 divided by 1 plus 18 that is 9 which is a factor right so it is successfully divisible so we should get it is a Harshad number so one more example if I take 24 so 24 divided by 2 plus 4 that means 6. So again it is divisible. So 24 is also the Harshad number. And I will go with the 35. So 3 plus 5 it is 8. So 35 divided by 8 which is not divisible. So we should get it is not a Harshad number. Right. So this is how we can find whether the given number is Harshad number or Niven number. 
so the number if the number is divisible by some of its individual digits we can call it as a harsh number so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much